Hello! So I'm here with coffee. I just got her out of the pen because we're not able to take any pictures there and she kind of gets frustrated. She's, she really doesn't like to because she's in with the many puppies and many dogs there and she, for instance, she wouldn't walk in a lead there. I put the lead um, uh, in the pen and I had to carry her out but outside she's like really in her element because she's not stressed anymore by the others. Um, she's definitely frustrated uh, because uh, well she was not able she wasn't um, accustomed to to have so many dogs around she comes um, from somebody in the village who um, was very proud of having her um, with the um, um, proud is a, is a strong word, but anyway, when I wanted to spay the, the bitch, he denied. He didn't want because he said um, she's a very good hunting dog and she makes good puppies that I sell. Obviously not. People wouldn't um, pay a lot and she's not like a, um, a, a, a pure breed or anything. She's a mongrel. Might have some chow chow in her because of her tongue show us your tongue show us your tongue yes you have the most beautiful beautiful tongue yes 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 you do 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 you're happy and um anyway so he refused for me to spay her but in a few days he came with her to me um because she had a broken leg uh, I gave him all the instruction. It was a, a nasty fracture, um, bone sticking out and everything. Gave him the instruction to go to the vet. He has a car and everything. He said he would. I've arranged it with the vet um, and said to him that he will should not worry a lot about the, the costs. And uh, what he, he did he do? He promised he would take her and then simply abandoned her. Uh, so she went to the people she originally came from. Uh, and they called me because uh, of her. So I, uh, I finally got her from them. And I spayed her and we got the surgery fixed. And uh, the, the, the fracture fixed. And now she's walks okay she's she's uh, as you can see you can't really tell that she had uh, a broken leg it was one of the back legs i don't even remember which one um and um she had to stay with a titanium plate for a few weeks good weeks but she's perfect now titanium plate is out and she recovered perfectly she's really lovely with humans she adores humans she she kind of gets a little bit jealous but it's only understandable in my household uh, because it's we have too many dogs are fighting for attention and uh, they they get frustrated because they especially the loving ones the one that want to be with you and want to have um, your time and adore humans and adore to please them they get a bit frustrated when they can't reach you because of the others <laughs> Mm, other than this, she's a lovely, lovely animal. I can understand her. Like, um, it's not easy when there are too many dogs in one place. We've been like that for years now, and it's time that we we. It's time we kind of get things under control now, with the hope of um, rescue me and uh, A A R R. Hopefully, we'll will be able to do that. Um, many dogs have been placed during the last years between these two rescues. I'm incredibly mm, thankful, like 150 dogs, but we also rescued a lot. And because 
were stupid like that <laughs> instead of uh, getting the numbers down as soon as the spaces were um, available we got in god knows there's um, plenty of dogs that need um, uh, rescuing and we haven't said no to the ones that really needed us but we wouldn't have been able to do that uh, if we didn't had come on oh she's not really faced by cars i see um we wouldn't have been able to do that without um, this incredible help of these two small but incredible rescues um so um this is her as you can see she's perfect in a lead uh, she's not a, a dog that is causing problems. She's young, but not the young, so very young to, to cause, to be hyperactive and uh, to, to be, um, to, to be annoying <laughs> like some dogs can. Uh, she's really attentive about everything. She's been, it's been a while since she was, since she was out of the shelter. And um, come on, girl, come on. She hears people talking and come on, come on, come on, coffee, coffee. Come on, girl. And um, yeah, she's, um, she's a really good girl. Show me, show me how good you are. Show me, yeah, yeah. Giving kisses, so I stayed, she stays. Yeah. What's your matter, baby? What's your matter, baby? What's your matter, baby? <laughs> she loves people. She really does. She's like, craves a lot for them. What do you hear there? What do you hear? Is it something there? Is it? You're a good girl. Yes, she's black, but she's beautiful. She has a very distinguished uh, <laughs> appearance. Because, come on, I'll take you off the lead. I trust you enough. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Come on. Come on. As you can see, she hasn't been out with me. But um, I want her to have this. I'm going to test her because I can, I think I can trust her. Girly. Coffee. Coffee. She obviously feels that she, she sees that she's free. She's not like running away or anything. Yeah, we're pooping now. We can do it safely. <laughs> um, as you can, yeah, give her some privacy, will you? <laughs> Come on, you're a good girl. Uh, obviously, I don't recommend this with any new dog that goes abroad but my area is pretty safe and I kind of know my dogs and they know me so I kind of know which dog I can let loose uh, safe enough even if this is her really her first time going on a lead with me and um, out of the shelter actually coffee coffee are you exploring now? Stay, girly. 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 Come on. Oh, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Come on. Let's go walk a little bit more just because you enjoy it very much. Let's see how our tomatoes are doing. We've had some hail. So let's see if we still have something. <sighs> And so this is coffee. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy her and like her. And if it's uh, uh, no, um, it's not a match with your dog, honey. It's okay. She's she's really such a good girl. She, I'm sure she will find um, another home. She just needs a chance to get out. And uh, oh yes. My tiny tomatoes are still alive. They are, some of them anyway. <laughs> some of them. Oh, bless. Don't go on the... Some of them are really in a bad shape. 
Okay, yeah. I think we've had some dogs helping around also. Oh well, yeah. So, come on. Come on. Well, really, I'm really enjoying being with her, so, yeah. Don't know about her hunting instincts. Um, I will try to test her with uh, cats. I don't know about hunting instincts. I was told that she's a good uh, dog um, to go and hunt boars. <laughs> it's ridiculous, obviously. She might chase a wild animal, but uh, more than that, I don't think uh, so. Because <laughs> she's, uh, she's not big. She's a me medium, smallish kind of girl. Come on. Coffee, come on, come on, coffee. You don't want to go home. <laughs> She's saying, Mommy, I still want some. I want some work. But we have others to film. Yeah, we do. Come on, come on. Yeah, come on. You're a good girl. She really is. <laughs> she sees people on the street, so she's like, Paying attention to everything, but really great response for being in a new environment like she is now. Yes, you are amazing. And this is her trademark. This little fuzzy hair here. She always had that. <laughs> She's always going to have it. And I simply adore this. I do. <laughs> uh, Noir, uh, one of our dogs, also had this. Uh, I've seen him with having this this thing here. It's lovely. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Sniff, sniff everything. Come on. Come on. Okay.